this the day before I'm going to upload it because I've had a while off and I am so so sorry. Life got a bit crazy again and yeah just since my birthday it has been a bit of a wild ride. A couple of auditions, one very exciting one that I'm keeping everything crossed for but don't you worry when I do, when I don't I will tell you all. Work-life balance hasn't really been balancing, it's just been a bit chaotic however it's nice to get back on track of things, the house is tidied, I went for a run this morning guys, I went for a run. <laughs> I went for a run. I went for a 3.5k run. I am so proud of myself. Words can't even describe, I feel like I'm gonna get emotional talking about it again, but we're not doing that, we're not doing that. So for a while I've been having a proper itch to go running. It's just been on my mind. I would actually say for the past couple of years, but I've always been too nervous to even start, to even put on some running shoes and go outside. I've always just been so nervous to. And you know what? Recently, the itch has been getting stronger and I've needed to scratch it. And I just was like, next, come on, let's do it. I downloaded the Nike Run Club app, Runner, Strava, and Couch to 5K. I've had Couch to 5K on my phone for a while because that's what I tried to do years ago, like we're talking years ago. And that's when I wasn't in a very good place. So I'm a little bit apprehensive to go back onto that. But on the Nike Run Club app, I've told them like all my goals and my plans and my aspirations. And they've sort of made a plan for me. And, and that so far has been incredible. On Runner, I did the same thing. And it showed me a lot more of interval training, which I'm not used to. But I feel like I'm going to like switch between them and just give each of them their own little chance to shine and to see what it can do to me and to see which one I prefer. But Strava, I now know, because Josh likes Strava. Strava's more for the Facebook of running, he basically said to me. I'm not sure if I'm at that point yet, so yeah, I know today. So basically, let me sum you up this morning. We woke up, we had a coffee, we had a chit chat, and then Josh headed out on a run. So he wanted to do 5k, I think he ended up doing a little bit more, so like six and a half, and he went out with the dog because he loves running with the dog. And they came back and they picked me up, and my run today on the Nike Run Club app was a long run and I was a bit apprehensive. I was apprehensive because look, being a bigger girl and holding a bit more everywhere, a little bit, little bits that wiggle and jiggle, is gonna be harder, naturally, scientifically, it is going to be harder for a person of my size. However, when you forget about that and you just go, but slowly, slowly is, oh my God, that has been, the, the change in my mentality of running. And you always just think, because you see everyone online just run, and they run so fast. And I want to do that, but I will get there. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And in my mind, I'm like, slow and steady wins the race. I'm not racing for anything. I'm not training for anything. I'm just doing this for me, because mentally, I've been in a bit of a a bit of a weird state over the past couple of weeks. And, I've been on my period as well, so that's definitely not helped, but I just wanted to find something because I'm loving Reformer Pilates, absolutely loving that. Heather and I go on Mondays, Monday mornings, start the week off right, absolutely loving that. And I just wanted to incorporate a little bit more cardio just to get my fitness up and just to start feeling really, really good in myself. I thought 26, let's go, let's do it. But yeah, I will take you along for some of the runs. I think I'm gonna try document a lot of it over on TikTok. So make sure to go follow me over there. And every now and then I'll pop some little bits on Instagram. But yeah, I am so proud of myself. It has been a bit of a whirlwind and I just wanted to catch you all up. So since turning 26, it has just been, yeah, a bit of a whirlwind and I honestly think that's the easiest way to describe it. But now I am showered, I'm back in my pajamas, these really, really comfy, brand new pajamas from Stripe and Stare. So I was so lucky yesterday. I'm sure it was about half five. I was just finishing up all my work and there was a knock at the door and I, le let me go grab it, hang on. And I was sent a gorgeous box of goodies from the Stripe and Stare team. I had a really lovely meeting with them actually a couple of weeks ago and that was really, really exciting. They are a brand that I love a lot, a lot, a lot. And I love everything that they stand for. But as you can tell, I've already, <laughs> I've already popped on some of the goodies. So I've got these new, they're blue striped pajamas and oh my gosh, they are the softest, most beautiful, and 
incredible quality pajamas and I popped them on straight away last night. Josh and I watched anyone but you because he hasn't seen it. I saw it and he just was giggling the whole way through. And I was like, you know what, let's uh, let's get comfy, let's get chilled, pop them on. And I've already popped on <laughs> one, of their, one of their bra and underwear sets. And this is what drew me to the brand because it's products and underwear made for women by women. And those women just know, they know, and it's incredible. And the underwear honestly feels like you're not wearing anything but you are and that is just that is chef's kiss they also sent me another set but in this gorgeous gorgeous brown color i love it so much so i'll link all this down below i will show you the set i've got on now because i'm going to do a little asos haul for you all it has been a long time coming and i thought you know what let's order some new bits let's try it and i'll do it and i'll film it and i'll put it in a vlog and yeah hopefully you guys like that but i just wanted to show you those little bits that they sent me because I'm one lucky girl. So basically the whole sort of point of this vlog, I just wanted to spend the day with you really. I didn't feel much of the run because still very much a beginner. I'm actually going to make the most of the sun peeping through the blinds coming down on my face. But I just wanted to pop on a little bit of makeup today. Um, nothing too much because we're not going out the house. I think we're gonna go head to M&S later to go treat ourselves for something for dinner and for running, of course, like a nice little pat on the back. But yeah, but I'm not I'm not doing too much because I'm only, I'm only vlogging. So I actually have bought two new makeup products. Now, if you've not seen lip stains online, where have you been? Where have you been? I fell well and truly Alice in Wonderland style down the rabbit hole and I treated myself to two of the Wonder Skin lip stains and I've been wearing them all week. I've had quite a lot of compliments over on Instagram and people asking, oh, what's that lip shade? What are you wearing? No, that lip shade looks great. And I've been like, you know what? Hee hee hee, I'm gonna keep it to myself and show you on the vlog, but they are everywhere. And I ordered two shades. So one's in the shade Whimsical and one's in XOXO. When you have them together like this, when you have them like that, they don't look that different, but when they're on the lips, trust me, they are. So you only put them on for about 30 seconds, but I've seen some people online, they've had them on Oh, that's the straighteners. Yeah, some people online, they've had them on for five minutes, 10 minutes. I'm not too sure if that does make a difference, but anyway, I've got nothing on my lips now. They are well and truly non-existent, like literally non-existent. And when I've not got lip balm on as well, they obviously look a little bit more paler. But I thought I needed something that will last me throughout the day, something that I don't have to keep reapplying, but I've just been popping my lip balm on over the top. What one should I show you first? Whimsical is a lot darker on me and my skin tone and I've not got any tan on at the minute. I have actually scrubbed that off this morning because I'm gonna do a new fresh layer of tan tomorrow. So I'm gonna go in with XOXO and don't be shocked at this. <laughs> this isn't an ad by the way. I literally purchased these off Amazon. They came the next day. Incredible, but Wonder Skin, if you do wanna work with me, you know where I am. And basically <laughs> it comes out and it's purple. So do not, do not be shocked when you see this. With it, be very, be very, very careful because obviously where you go and where you line your lips, that is where the product is gonna go and that is where it's gonna stay. And so a little technique that I've been practicing is to try and go on the outline of my lips and then I go in and just add a bit of color on the base of my lips just to try give a little bit of definition. So I'm, get, I'm getting a little bit closer to my mirror, but the skin, the period skin has been breaking out. She has been hormonal. Anyway, enough rambling, let's go. I look ridiculous. <laughs> you can tell as well when it dries because it starts to crack. I have to say as well, you guys on TikTok and Instagram, I've posted about doing my run and I've never felt pride like it from everyone else. You guys are just, oh my God, you're the best. You are the best. <laughs> just got a damp tissue and we're just going to wipe it off. And already, oh my gosh, I love it so much. The best thing about it is I feel like it just defines my lips. I can put on my lip balm, not have to put on any lip liner and just go about my day. I'm going to go <laughs> and pop on my eight hour just on top to hydrate the lips because, and that is what I've been working with for the past couple of days. And especially since I've been filming my 30 days of spring mid-size outfits, which you guys have been loving. I've also been popping them on YouTube shorts and 
Again, you guys love it over here. I don't want to wear too much makeup during the week when I'm filming that, so just a little bit like this just makes me feel a little bit put together, and I love that. <laughs> One thing I've come to the end of, we've got a little empty. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Water Cream. I cannot get any more out of this if I tried. I could probably get a tiny, tiny amount. I can get that much out. Let's use that. I've already got some moisturiser on my face anyway, but I was going to put that back in my makeup bag. No harm with some extra... A little bit of extra moisturizer. I actually think I'm just gonna do a very basic light, light makeup. I've got my NARS Creamy Concealer. I also popped to Boots yesterday and I did a nice big Boots restock of some bits that I've been wanting to try. But also I had a hundred pounds worth of Boots Advantage card points and I wanted to spend it all in one go and that is what I did. So I've got some things that I've restocked up on. I've got some new things that I want to try. I'm not lying when I said I had a hundred pounds worth of vouchers to use. And that did take me a while to, to rack up, to rack up those points, it did take a while. I do feel like I'm updating you with 101 things, but something really exciting is coming up and that is Josh and I's 10 year anniversary now. Oh my goodness. I look a bit more awake now and especially post run. Gosh, I feel like these 10 years have absolutely flown by. I think closer to the time, so it is next month in May, closer to the time I think I'll do a bit more of a little chit chat, maybe with him as well. Maybe we should do a sit down Q&A with Josh and just talk about our past 10 years because we have gone from 16 to 26 and that's a whole decade. A whole decade of being together is just mental. We have literally, we have literally grown up with each other and experienced so much. And that's like our first chapter. And I feel like hopefully we're stepping into a new chapter. Oh my God, yeah. It's just, it's actually amazing. And when I think about it, I am just, I'm so happy for us. But also he has the last of his, law exams to do in the next couple of weeks. So hence why life has also been a little bit chaotic. In that respect, I've just been giving him his time, like he's already downstairs now, bless him, doing loads of mocks and revision. And I am just so proud of him. And he deserves to pass every single exam. So in the comments, send him some love because I know he'll love that, but yeah, keeping everything crossed for him, everything crossed. And if it's meant to be, it will be. If it isn't, it isn't. It's just the way it is. You know what, I'm gonna do a NARS base today. I'm going to go in with my light reflecting foundation. This is my lighter foundation as well. And when I just want something a little bit lighter on my skin. <clears throat> oh my gosh, sorry. I have to say, I think this is definitely more of my winter shade, especially when I've not got tan on, but I have restocked up on one of my favorite tans. I will show you in my boots haul. Oh, do you know what I've realized? I've just not put on my primer. I didn't put a primer on, but hey, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. I've got my SPF and my, and my moisturiser on, two layers of moisturiser to be exact. So I'm now gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush and this is in the shade Happy. I love this colour because when I put it on, it makes me very happy and literally you do not need a lot. Trust me when I say you don't need a lot. Can we see how pigmented that is? If you cannot see this on the camera, then oh my gosh, but it just blends in so so well. I am so excited for summer now. I am and always will be an autumn winter girl through and through. Nothing will ever change that but yeah I I need a bit of sun. I need that vitamin D. The vitamins aren't enough. I need the actual thing. I actually I need it. So when the sun's in like this I oh my gosh I'm living for it. I've got a current hyperfixation on one specific meal and it's a homemade tuna sweet corn pasta with a bit of mayo Oh my gosh, it, it it's just so nostalgic because my mum, I remember years ago, my mum taught me her recipe. And it, I mean, it's not a recipe, it's literally some tuna, some tuna from a tin, some sweet corn from a tin. You pop it in, boil some pasta, bit of mayo, mix it all up. Oh my God, it's amazing. And that has been, that has been my fixation at the minute. And oh, I love it. It fills me up. I get my protein with the fish. I love sweet corn. So for brows, I found this in my makeup box, my excess makeup box, is the classic Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I forgot the name of it then, I thought it was Gimme Brow. But I think Gimme Brow, is that still Benefit? I hope it might be. Benefit Gimme Brow, maybe. Anyway, I, I am due to dye my brows another little thing I'm gonna to talk to you about later, but I have ran out of my eyebrow pencil, something I stocked up from Boots, 
and and I actually forgot how much I do like the benefit pencils definitely a task when my brows aren't dyed and then finally just to finish off the look I've got my L'Oreal Panorama volume million lashes and this is actually in a brown shade but I don't know where I thought normally the colours on the bottom, but it's not there. But this is a brown, a brown mascara. And I always find with lighter greeny blue eyes, brown works so, so well. I don't know why this has come to me whilst I'm doing my mascara right now, but a programme that I have been made to watch by Josh. And I say made because he has been going on and on and on about me watching Ted Lasso on Apple TV. And... Oh my gosh, I am obsessed with Hannah Waddingham anyway. The musical theatre kid in me, she is an absolute icon and I just love her. Anything she does, I love. So I don't understand why it's taken me so long to watch Ted Lasso. However, we're watching it and we're on the final season or season three. We don't actually know if there's going to be another season or not, but I'm hoping there is because I am totally hook, line and sinker. I love it so much. It is one of the best programs I think I've ever watched in my life and you know people say they've got like their comfort program a lot of people have friends or some other programs that I can't really think of right now mine is Ted Lasso and I'm gonna keep re-watching it and re-watching it whenever I'm feeling down because it just makes me so happy it's so funny the characters are spot on it's just brilliant if you're needing a tv recommendation Ted Lasso on Apple TV you will not regret it one final thing you know what it is Charlotte Tilbury Flawless filter setting spray. This is also the jumbo size and I am running out. She needs a top up. And there we have my very much second skin makeup, no makeup sort of look. I do love a good makeup like this. And with that lip stain, oh my God, it's amazing. I love it. So I will show you Whimsical maybe a little bit later or in another vlog. So stay tuned for that. Again, we'll link those down below. Let's get into the boots haul. I love that I'm just chilling here in my pajamas. It's gonna be a very much put this video on in the background of you having a bath, of you getting ready for the day, tidying up your room, that's what I do with vlogs I uh, honestly I hate the silence I have to have something on all the time so a little bit big boots haul where do I even start starting off strong I have heard the most incredible reviews about the Garnier Ultimate Blends, I think it's called Glowing Lengths, Hair Food, Pineapple and Alma, and it's a three-in-one hair mask for long, dull hair. I know my hair isn't long, but I've heard good things about it helping your hair to grow long, so I'm going to have to keep you updated on that, and yeah, I'm just going to pop that in, especially before I go for my runs, before I go to Pilates, Pilates, Pilates. I don't say Pilates, I say Pilates. Yeah, Pilates, reformer. So I will put that in, especially even before I go for a swim and then I can wash it out and it's just, leaves my hair feeling nice and soft. Moving on. <laughs> so, you know what I was saying about wanting to dye my brows? This is going to change the game for any girls that dye their, ha dye their hair, for anyone that wants to dye their brows at home. And I am truly a eyelure dye, eyebrow dye. I have been an eyelure brow dye fan for a long time. And then I was recommended to use men's beard dye for your brows. It makes sense. It makes total, total sense. Look at the size of that in comparison, in comparison to the old, the old Ilo ones. These are, in, how do I, what do I put? Oh, in comparison to the, to the lip stain, you get a big amount of product and it's very much similarly the same price. So a little life hack for you. A couple of skincare products. I've heard incredible things about this Mighty Patch. So I've got the Invisible Plus Mighty Patch. You get 24 and it's literally a spot acne sticker. And it says the Invisibly Thin Daytime Patch absorbs pinkle, pinkle, absorbs pimple gunk in six to eight hours. Some exciting things. Obviously you cannot come out of boots without a sheet mask. And I wanted to try, I think this is a new one, could be wrong, but a vitamin C brightening serum mask, the Revitalift Clinical, instant brightening and glow targets pores, uneven tone and texture. I might do this tonight maybe once I've dyed my brows. But yeah, 
wanted to give that a try, picked up one of those. This was on offer too. I saw, because Eshtred is now stocked in boots. If you didn't know, get to know. I love my Eshtred razor and I've not really tried many of their actual products to use, but I saw they've got this ultimate gel, shave gel, the ultimate shave gel, sorry, cushioning skin protection with shea butter, nice and and sea moss. And I just thought that packaging was so girly, so me. Gonna pop that in the shower and give that a go. And then I had to stock up on my favourite turn of all time. I have worked with Isla Paradise for a couple of years now. I love Jules. I love the brand. The girls there are incredible. And if you don't know as well, Jules Von Hepp, go follow him. He's the founder of Isla Paradise and I love everything he stands for. I did a TikTok live with him a good couple of years ago and that was the first time I met him in person. And he is just incredible. I could talk about him for ages. The videos he puts up, he puts up loads of tanning tips on TikTok as well. So go check that out because he is just so great. But their express mousse is the goat. When I tell you, you need this tan, you need this tan, you need this tan. Normally, normally I'm the green medium bottle kind of girl, even the face drops, I have the medium one. But recently I've been wanting to go a little bit darker with my tan and to get more of that deep glow. And with this, this isn't an ad at all. I have worked with them before just, just for pure transparency. The longer you leave this on, the deeper your glow is going to be. Highly, highly recommend incredible product can't go wrong needed to restock this for the shower the classic dove hydrate this works great for josh and i especially with his sensitive skin i picked up some new skincare products and i'm very very excited to use these i've seen vita liberata everywhere mainly on tiktok and i wanted to i wanted to try their beauty blur face in light i did pick up it in the light especially for when i'm i'm not tanned and more more in the winter but this was actually in the clearance and it was down to 16 pounds in the clearance i can't remember full price maybe 20 25 pounds it is it's basically very similar to the charlotte tilby flawless filter and that's what it looks like that's what it looks like on the stick. And just, again, I probably should have used this today, just for a nice no makeup makeup sort of skin tint. A restock of my favorite eyebrow pencil ever, e.l.f. You do not really need to go high end with your products at all. And e.l.f. is one of those brands that just does things so well. And their eyebrow pencil is my, is my go-to. As much as I do love a Benefit brow, pencil i honestly i swear by this one it is just it's the ultra precise brow pencil and i have it in the shade neutral brown to match my roots and it is just perfect like look this is the it's nothing groundbreaking it is literally just an eyebrow pencil but i think it's the the consistency and texture of it just works so well on my face and on my brows <laughs> then i got some new skincare products to try so first of all so i love the inky list you will know i've worked with them on my instagram before and my tiktok which i am very very proud and honored to do they are a skincare brand i just go for every single time and they are affordable they're great they have such a range of products but one thing i've never ever ever tried from them is their retinol eye cream so so I wanted to give this a try. Let's grab it out. And I've seen recently as well, loads of people are saying, your makeup just sits so much better when you've got an eye cream on. So gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm taking on board what everyone's saying. Oh, and also go onto my Instagram and check out my latest post with the Inky List. It is a launch of uh, a couple of brand new body products. That's all I'm gonna say. Go have a look, go have a look. And then two new L'Oreal products. So the first one, oh my God, when I saw this, I just went, this is perfect for me. As someone that suffered with cystic acne before in the past, proper teenage breakouts, spots, all of that jazz, I do have a lot of scarring. I have looked into microneedling and I feel like I'm eventually going to try it. I need to do a bit more research. Any recommendations or stories where you guys have tried it before, let me know. Just to sort of get those really old, scarring, dark spots on my face. But I thought, in the meantime, let's try something new. And this is the, the Dark Spot Exfoliant Peel Bright Reveal 25% AHA and BHA and PHA. And I love anything AHA, BHA, PHA. And then within the same family of the L'Oreal Paris Bright Reveal, line i picked up dark spot uv fluid spf 50 oh my gosh i am i am obsessed love absolutely love so i'm gonna give those a try and i will let you know how i do with it another new product i am a batiste dry shampoo girl through and through i have ventured out before in the past and tried some other dry shampoo brands but 
but the one, and I say this, Josh and I come back to, he discovered my dry shampoo collection and it was a game changer for him. And I was like, I've got to buy more now. But I saw this and I thought I would give it a try, especially now she's in her runner. She's a runner, she's a track star. Now she's in her running era. This is a new Batiste product, sweat activated technology, dry shampoo, 24 hour active, refreshes hair and releases bursts of freshness as you sweat. And also I loved the packaging on there, like the design is just beautiful. And that was my boots haul. Let me know if you've tried any of those new products that I'm yet to try. Let me know how you've got on with them. Anything that you're like not so sure on, again, let me know. I've been yabbering on for quite some time now. So shall we get into the ASOS haul? I feel we should just jump straight into it. Let me sort my hair out. I'm not going to get changed out of my pajamas because I'm going to get changed and try on, try on these clothes, but I'll sort my hair out and I'll come back to you in literally three seconds. <laughs> if, if that, if that. Okay, are we ready? I've made myself a cup of tea because sometimes this goes well, sometimes it doesn't go very well just the nature of what it is when you order off ASOS. But I'm hoping this time, it's a good order. You can literally see it's stretching. Let's have a sip of the tea. Mm. Oh, that's needed, let's pop that there. I've just um, I've just been on the phone to Hev. She's been gardening today, bless her, and just talking to Hev makes me so happy. It just cheers me up so much. So let's hope for more cheering up and more happiness. Are we ready? Also, this is the Stripe and Stare pyjamas. Let me come a little bit closer. How gorgeous is this? Like the quality is just, oh my God, it's amazing. I love it, love it, love it, love it. I mean, I've just opened the top to show you, but how beautiful is this bralette from Stripe and Stare as well? The baby pink is right up my street. I love it. They are so soft and the matching underwear, I mean, you'll see in a minute when I'm getting changed. It's just beautiful. Are we ready? So up first, I've got two pairs of trainers and I want to get your opinion before I make my decision. I love my Adidas Sambas and I get so much wear out of them. You see me style them up a lot over my Instagram, but let me show you. I picked up and I'm really not too sure. <laughs> some red ones, some red ones. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I actually love them. I love them. <gasps> so much. It is going to be between these and the Converse, you'll see in a minute. They are just so, so nice. They are so comfy. And just to add a pop of colour, especially going into spring, summer, I thought the red was going to be really cute and red is trending and all that jazz at the minute. But I love it, especially with the vibe and the outfit I thought and I, I was pairing in my head with these, my Abercrombie Curve Love jeans, and then my new leopard print top from ASOS that I wore in the end of my birthday vlog. Unbelievable. Maybe a red lip? Who knows, that could be too much, that could be too much. What do we think? Okay, let's have a, let's have a little, we'll have a think about it, but then, <laughs> my Converse now, I love my Com de Garcon, Gar, Garcons, and they're the collaboration Converse did, and it's the one with the little red heart on. Love that, as you can tell. I love a bit of red on my trainer. And I've not had a pair of classic all-star, all-star Converse's for the longest time. I've actually, I don't think I've had the high tops ever before. I've got my, they're, they're the ones I have, my black pair, but I've always had the sort of low ones. And I thought maybe this for a more, a more toned down trainer. So instead of, instead of the red, where that's a little bit obvious, that's a little bit more, it's a little bit more toned down. What do we think? Let me know in the comments, but I feel like I'm swaying to these. Right, let's get started on the clothes. Oh, wait. Before I get started on the clothes, now she's in her running era, I wanted to get some caps and these are actually really affordable. Again, I will link as much as I can down below and also the links you see down below, just so I can say in the video, they're affiliate links. So what that means is if you click and shop through that link, I will earn a tiny, tiny little bit of commission. That's that's all it is. This is the first cap that I went for. Again, can you tell I'm getting a little bit brave and I want to get out of my get out of my comfort zone. We're going, we're going strong. A lovely green. Let's pop it on. Oh actually no I've got makeup on. We'll wait. It's got a lovely white band there. But I thought even styling up with an outfit, trench coat vibe, I'm keeping that for sure. And this one. I mean I knew I was going to keep the caps, especially for running too. You can't go wrong with having some 
caps on rotation at all. I am obsessed with this one. Imagine this. Again, trench coat or hoodie, jeans. Oh my God, love it, love it. So happy I decided to pick up some caps. What shall we go with? That's a dress. I've got a dress, I've got a shirt. I've got <laughs> some dungarees. Maybe we put that on first. I then also got, oh, <gasps> oh, some jeans and these are from Mango. And then I've got two denim jackets and a black and a blue and a jumper, maybe. Okay, we're going in, trying on some jeans first. They look, they, they seem promising. So these are from Mango. I've been after a thick pair of cream ecru style, ecru colour jeans. And I've tried the Abercrombie Curve Love ones, but they're a bit too thin for my liking, which is a shame because the actual blue denim wash jeans that I have and the black pair of jeans are really thick. So I was a bit like, mm, okay. Can't stick with that, so let's try something else. Um, also tried the M&S ones. Again, they're a bit too thin for me. And I think as well, it's just because of my curvy legs, I feel sometimes they they show quite a lot through wide leg, white, white wide leg jeans. So let's give these a go. Right, she's gonna get her kit off. Nothing, nothing groundbreaking, nothing groundbreaking. Don't we just love the stripe and stair knickers? I love them so much. And also they're biodegradable, so you can literally get them gone amazing absolutely amazing a little bit nervous about trying jeans on but it's all right if it doesn't fit we just size up so i've got these in a 16 and let's hope let's just hope it's always it's always my hips and my bum that's a little bit that's a little bit tight i can already tell oh no is it even worth <laughs> don't <laughs> literally it's okay Ignore the size, it's just a number. It has no effect on your worth at all. However, it's never nice, is it? It's not a nice feeling. I had good hopes, so I'm gonna have to size up if they go up to an 18. They might not, but they feel already, they feel great, like the quality feels great. Starting off not that strong, but it's all right, it's all right. Okay, well the next pair of bottoms that I ordered, bottoms and a top in one. And I've been wanting to get a pair of dungarees for the longest time, and let's hope these fit, because also for Christmas, Heath got me a two hour pottery lesson, which we're yet to do, and I'm just living my main ghost, the musical, even though it's a movie as well, I love the movie, but I love the musical. Ghost the musical vibes, doing pottery in my dungarees, pop on a white t-shirt. So these, sorry, I forgot to tell you, these are from, these are from Free People, and I got these in a large, so they're a little bit more expensive. I think they're about 80, 80 pounds. I do normally wear a large and free people, but oh, they they do. Okay, we've got them on. A cup of tea break is needed. They do feel a little tight. I can't remember if they're meant to be baggy or slim fitting. I definitely should have done this part first. I'm starting to break a sweat. I also have the window open, so. I'm a bit unsure because I'm a little bit like, I don't know, or do I just look like a big baby? <laughs> do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm in like a big baby romper. Just gonna pop on a black t-shirt just to see how it looks. We've got three buttons here. So we've got one, oh, one's already done up. And then we've got there. And that around my waist, how does it look on the bum? When I'm editing this, I'll be able to see and I'll probably make a decision then. I think the worst part of trying on clothes is when you really want them to work and they don't start to work. It can get really annoying. That still might be a little bit loose. Do you know what? Let's get Josh's opinion. Josh, what do you think? Nice. Do you think? Shoes on, yeah. Yeah, nice. Are you, are you sure? Yeah, well, I, I was just saying to the vlog, I feel like it's maybe because I'm not used to wearing, I don't know if it's because I'm not used to wearing dungarees, I do feel like a bit of a big baby. Say hello. Good day. Good day, mate. You've been revising all day, haven't you? Doing mocks. Yeah. I was saying to the vlog, I don't know if it's because I'm not used to wearing dungarees. What do you think? What do you think? They're nice. Do you think it looks nice? Obviously, with a pair of shoes on too. Well, I don't know why I was going like that. Not wearing heels. Yeah, it looks fine. I just feel like are they meant? Is it meant to be baggier? We need to discuss over this. 
I don't know if it's literally just a mind over matter thing and I'm in my own head. I'm gonna insert what it looks like and then when I'm editing as well, I can make a decision too. Like I just said to Josh then, I just don't know if it's because I'm not used to wearing something like this, but I, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's just because it is so different. Uh, I don't know, here's a full 360. I'm gonna keep moving to keep my, keep my serotonin levels up because I'm not gonna let this get me down. I'm not gonna let it get me down. Okay, cup of tea wiggle. Okay, I'm gonna have to sleep on this. I'm gonna have to think about it. We're going to double denim it up. So I've got, I've been on the hunt for some dungarees and also for some denim jackets and I've got a blue and a black wash. I'm hoping that they're both really good and that, and that I can keep both of them. I feel like I've not even tried that much on and I'm already getting, I'm already getting over it. <laughs> I'm already over it, I'm over it. These are ASOS design ones. I can't remember what size I got this in. I think I got it in a large, so 16 to 18. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Big fat, yeah, absolutely love this. Sorry, a cup of tea is needed again. Obviously not as this outfit because I'm very much aware this is a very dark wash and this is a very light wash. But even just with the with the black top underneath, like if I, this is cool. I like this, I feel cool in this. I also got it as well for, it's very spring, isn't it? Very spring, summer when it gets a bit cold at night. If I've got a dress on, I can just put a denim jacket on and with some Adidas trainers or some Converse, it will just look a nice cash, cool outfit. Love this. I got this in black as well, obviously. So it's exactly the same. The quality of this as well is actually really, really nice. Let's, let's try it. Ooh in the black too. So this is exactly the same, just in, when I wanna be a bit more, a bit more edgy, a bit more edgy, edgy. What do we think? What do we think? Check in the mirror. Yeah, yeah, she's great. She is exactly what I thought she was gonna be. Just imagine as well, let me put on some sunglasses. Let's, let's complete the vibe, complete the look. Oh. She is in her era, she's in her, that's me, that's me driving a wheel, <laughs> if no one got that reference. I am obsessed. Can you tell the serotonin levels are coming back up now? Now something fits, and the thing that fits is jackets, shock. Shock, shock, shock. I'm sure that was a dress. This was a jumper from Nike. Can you tell I'm in my red, her red era? Just a classic, classic Nike swoosh red jumper. I was kind of more thinking along the same lines as my denim jackets where wearing this I can just pop on my shoulders, you know, like that sort of vibe. As well as wearing it, like actually wearing it, maybe I should try it on. Let me take off. Right, do you know what? These are coming off. I'm putting my pyjama bottoms back on. I'm in two minds about you dungarees. I'm in two minds. Let's pop on my... Oh. Pop the pyjama buttons back on. Okay, let's try the jumper on. What size did I get it in? Large. Hopefully it fits. Oh, is it gonna give me red fluff? Let's hope not. Oh, she's nice. She's feeling, she's feeling comfy. Yes, 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 yes. I think, I think I'm a little upset that it's very bittersweet that it's the jumper and the jackets that fit me and not the bottoms, but that is just the way it goes. That is just the way it goes. Can you see, can you see what I'm going for? I think these, I, I almost hit myself in the face then. Probably need that right now after trying on those clothes, but I think I'm gonna go for these and not the Converse. Let's change it up a little bit, you know? I forgot to show you guys this. When Josh and I went to Broadway in the Cotswolds for my birthday, we did a little bit of shopping after we went to Broadway Tower and I picked up this gorgeous mug. How lovely is it? Also, do you know who I think is gonna love this is my sister. She'll ask to borrow it without a doubt, without a doubt. That was a big yes. Oh, and then, okay, final two pieces. I picked up this top. I'm sure it was a top. Um, Yes, because I love a collar. All my mobile dresses that have collars on them, well, they, they all have collars on them. I love me a big, thick collar. This is very similar to my, well, not similar, but it, the style is very similar to my leopard print one. We have to tie up here. Now, 
all the girls, <laughs> all the girls on Pinterest, all the girls on TikTok, all the girls on Instagram are slimmer bodied and smaller boobied and I just don't know. But this is giving very good coverage actually. I mean, we love a stripe on stripe. It does need a good steam but the sleeves oh my god they're a bit of me they're a bit of me this is a bit of me and this is new this is new for me so or do i look cool oh let me see i quite like it i don't mind that it doesn't come in because sometimes we need bloke friendly tops and i think this is the one that i think this is a keeper what do we think i don't th i think this is going to be very marmite it's going to be it is going to be some people's taste it's not going to be everybody's taste but i do quite like it I do quite like it. Last but not least, I picked up a dress and this dress in the bag looks very, very okay. Okay, she's a, uh, she's thin, she's slinky. This is why sometimes I have to take some time from shopping on ASOS and trying new things. Um, especially with not going in my own comfort zone. I, I look like ham rolled up. I've not even tried to do this up. It was when it started to go a bit tight as I, was, as I was pulling the dress down. This was the main order of the outfit. It wasn't that, it wasn't expensive at all, but this was the sort of vibe that I was going for, right? The dress, a lovely red dress <laughs> that, that actually fits, not this one denim jacket over the top, a pop of red on my feet. You know, this is the vibe I was going for. This was what I was going for. However, um, she's, I'm gonna have to hunt for another red dress. It's absolutely fine if your normal size doesn't fit you, just size up. Clothes are meant to fit you, not the other way around. You're not meant to fit clothes, okay? Okay. Oh, right, let me know what you think about that ASOS haul. Certain bits, let me know about the dungarees. Just let me know. I could be in my head, but I could be right at the same time. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let me know. Let me know what you thought. And also, if you want to see more of these trying on videos, I would love to do more of them. But let me know if you want to see more of them. And I'll see you over on my Instagram and my TikTok throughout the week. So go follow me over there if you're not. And thanks so much for subscribing. If you are, and if you're not, subscribe. Give me a little thumbs up and I hope you have a lovely week wherever you are, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you in next week's vlog, I promise. Bye!